every university has their legends. Idaho State University is no different. But few schools can say their legend has been associated with their athletic program for as long and with as much meaning as the Bengal legend. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Babe Kashup is the all-time winningest football, baseball, and wrestling coach. He turned 90 on Wednesday, and he has all of the life and spirit of all of the Bengal athletes combined. He is the epitome of a Bengal. He's tough. He's feisty. He's caring. He's resilient. He's a teacher. He's a winner. He's a Bengal. Holt Arena's football field is now named Babe Kasha Field. He's given so much and asked for so little in return. That's the mark of a true champion. Babe's association with ISU began long ago. Well, I guess if you want to go back to high school, I graduated from Pocatello High School in 1936. And then I went across the town and registered at Idaho State University of Idaho Southern Branch, which is Idaho State now, which was a junior college then. I played here two years and then transferred up to the University of Idaho and played football, wrestled and baseball, and got a BS and MS degree there in 1941. And in 41 to 46, I was in the Navy. And I had some real good experiences in the Navy. Got to play a little football while I was in the service. Got to see a little sea duty. And then in 1946, came back to Pocatello as assistant football coach. Chick Atkinson, a very good friend of mine, was the head football coach. And he'd been the high school coach and then went in the service. Then came back and got the job and hired me as his line coach. I was there for two years and we had tremendous success there at Poc at Pocatello High School in football and all sports. And so in 1948, John Vesser hired me as assistant football coach here at Idaho State University. And then in 52, I became the head coach. Becoming the head football coach at ISU was a special moment for Babe. Well, you know, I was really honored because here I was coming back to actually one of my alma maters as a head football coach and the local boy and head football coach. So there's a lot of things that had me stirred up. 1952 was his first year as head football coach. And one of his best, the Bengals went undefeated won the first of Babe's six conference titles. Well, naturally, it meant great, a lot to me because it was my first year back in my hometown and my home school and being undefeated my first year. And we had tremendous support from the town and the students, so it was just a great year all over. But there was more. For us, there was a lot more than just the football that year. I don't think there's a team in the nation that can do what we did in 1952. We were undefeated in football. We won the national championship in boxing. W. Holt was undefeated in track and field. And Steve Belko went to the NCAA playoffs in San Francisco at the Cow Palace and won the consolation championship. So how can you beat a year like that? Babe and W. Holt served as dual ISU athletic icons. And their friendship spanned decades. Well, you know, Dub came here in 1936. We played here for two years and went up to the University of Idaho and played there three years. So we have known and been associated with each other for 70 years. 1957 was a repeat of 52 for the total program. We were undefeated in football. Then we won the national championship in boxing. We were undefeated in track and field, and we had an outstanding basketball game. So everything kind of fell in. You know, we had great athletes. Suits and ties have come back in vogue in some football coaching circles, but the tie was a babe standard. In the Navy, I wore a tie, and when I came to Idaho State and I, in Pocatello High School, everybody wore ties, but that's out of fashion now. I was a semi-screamer on the sideline. <laughs> that's the Italian butt, though, that, you know, you got to holler. It wasn't just football. The wrestling and baseball programs were led by Babe, too, and his baseball success started as a player at the University of Idaho. I led the uh, team in hitting and had three great years in baseball, and I contributed that all to the coaching I got from Forrest Toogood. And I brought some of those skills that I learned from him back to Idaho State. Babe was an Eskimo, too, north of the border. So I went up there and coached with him from the Eskimos in the Canadian Football League. And I was there five years, and the first year was a real rough, rough year. 
But uh, we end, I was there five years. We ended up winning three conference championships and one national championship. But he's always had the heart of a Bengal. Well, Russ, it was my whole life almost, you know. I was here for 38 years and then remained in Pocatello after I retired in 86. And I only live across the street from the Dome. So I spent a lot of time bugging the coaches and back and forth to the Dome. As for the field dedication, it's going to say Cassia Field forevermore. What does that mean to you? Well, that's a great honor, Russ. How can you expect any more when you're 90 years old? 90 years young, with so much more to come. Here's to a legend. Here's to Babe Cashin. I'm Russ Eisenstein.